making movies for the sake of creating, creating images. And uh, there's a beautiful activity involved with recording reality as it happens without any real sense of directing it, just letting the world be itself.
so uh no i can't remember what the movie's about i your movie my movie yeah it's, it's, it's strange it took us so long to get to it i can you remind me well you play an artist mm -hmm. who is moving up in the world and with that comes great responsibility more money more problems as they say mm -hmm. yeah. and with that also temptations mm -hmm. that you didn't have when you were you know living in a one-room apartment because then you end up meeting people that are in deep with connections and stuff mm -hmm. I mean the mere fact that you got hooked up with Rhonda out of the blue when she helped you fix your tire That's so nice a mile or so outside the city when the world was small mm-hmm couldn't leave. Yeah. Think of it like the Big Bang, you know, the theory of the Big Bang. Yeah. The thing was just a singularity and then it turned into everything, you know? Mm -hmm. But back then it was also everything, except it was smaller than an atom. Yeah. And it, like that. So wow. um, that's what's happening now. Everything is getting bigger. And maybe that's one of the things that happens as you get older. It's like you, you start to realize that the world is more complex. Mm -hmm. One of the defensive reactions that a lot of people have to that is they just shrink their belief system down so that they don't have to think about it. Yeah, there's so many ways of looking at the world and believing yeah. other things and to see and different life cultures. I haven't seen her for a while. I'm wondering myself if uh, I'm off the hook and yet I must not be because I'm making this movie. I know, great. It's, uh, it's a kind of great, yes. Uh, kind of great? Yeah, I mean, like Tony the Tiger. They're great, that one. They're great. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, I haven't seen that ad in a long time. I missed that one. That was fun. That got you excited to eat breakfast. afraid that because it was like you, you were saying how precise and how well done it's that you wouldn't let go of it but yeah well but, you know I appreciate it man. somebody let go of the Empire State Building yeah and his name was Ken Kong <laughs> <laughs> It's been around for a long time, right? Since the 80s. Yeah. One of my favorite bands. Talks about girls. It's yeah. fun in a hardcore way. Kind of like the replacements. Yeah, but I think they talk I think about girls. But I think doing your like <laughs> making your own records and stuff and doing that is way fun like yeah. more fun than getting someone else to do it. Like I make my own flyers, so mm -hmm. it's cool to get that freedom of being able to be like, bam, I put that up and like you know the band is going out and doing that stuff, not someone else. And you can start to really respect that. Yeah. Just yeah. like the art. Being a part of this, you know, putting your art up and being like, bam, that's mine. And having the courage to do that and say, you know, I will take anyone's judgment. That's right. Yeah. It's courage.
See, the thing about your project is that I got shifted over to other things to do because I, I was I was dealing with so many things that I had to do that Ron had determined that I would be better suited working with a few more upscale people. People with a little more self-esteem. I am starting to hole in my jeans. I mean, I've always been well put together and things are just falling apart. My hair's not luscious anymore. You're and starting a hole in your jeans? Yeah, my clothes are falling apart. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, like... Maybe they, they're not resistant to acid. I don't know where I am anymore. I'm constantly like, stressed out. I'm falling apart. Literally, I, I think I'm literally falling apart. Like. You know what I found out is that you know the world is at its proper size. You know how it started really small and yeah. it was just the size of the town. Well, now it's at its proper size. She's got other people, other fish to fry, as the expression goes. You know, like uh, so she doesn't care about me anymore. I haven't seen any of my inspiration. Yeah. I and mean, when's the last time you even shot anything for our, the movie I want to make? Well, I got other things going. You know, I got you know, and I got other things in the frying pan, so to speak. But I think that what happened with you and Rhonda is that you, you fell for her line, hook, line, and sinker. Am I that gullible? A lot of people are gullible. Especially around her. She's got this like weird control. She's mes she has a mesmeristic kind of way of being. Mm -hmm. How are you not mesmerized for her? Like you are still like solid and put together and I mean yeah, you're like being forced to do a lot of stuff and you keep talking about these films, but you still like have passion. It's because I believe in my inner core of being an artist. I've, I've had that ever since I was nine years old when I decided to become one. I thought even if I never achieve recognition, I will be an artist. That's huge. William Faulkner was given the Nobel Prize for Literature and uh, an interviewer asked him uh, about you know, what that was like, you know, how did that feel? And he said, I would have written the books regardless of whether or not I got paid. That's it in a nutshell. Wow. Nutshell, in a nutshell, that's a cliche. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Whatever, I guess my self-esteem... I mean, that's something you should work on. I mean, you're, you're, you have a lot of potential. You're a very nice person. Uh, you, should, you should not rely on gods and goddesses and supernatural forces to determine who you are and what your worth is. Thanks. Right? Yes, it's really inspirational, I think. You can get by without Rhonda. Yeah. Some people can't do that, and if you can learn how to do that, when you're lying awake at night, clutching the emptiness, you'll find that it gets easier over time. Thanks, it's so inspirational. Like... Yeah. Stitch this place, <laughs> let's go. When you leave All right, it. cool. <laughs> I'm going to be leaving soon. I'm going to be going down to Indiana to shoot some film. New project. And um, I do believe that on the plains of Indiana, I just may find that that's my way out. That uh, I can finally finish the project. The, you know, the big project I've been working on of making all these movies for Rhonda. I can uh, ascend out of this, you know, like through a, although I think, it, I think it's actually a portal. See on these um, TV shows and also in the movies, sport films, like it's a portal you go through, like in Hellraiser or something.
yeah. unforgettable. Yeah. Do you think she... <sighs> I have something of hers. What do you have? You're going to freak when you see these. Oh my gosh, what is it? Because I think that this, this might be the source of her power. Open it up. Try them on. Sunglasses. Those are her sunglasses. The world is so much more Isn't it, It's like us, right? Us. These are amazing sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, maybe you see the world the way it actually is. It's a little bit more yellow. A little more yellow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like sulfur. No, he doesn't love her, but he does not love her. Yeah, he just, he does what he's told to do. Exactly. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Of course not. Of course not. I just haven't seen her in a while. I almost forgot. The question is, was that Ted? No, of course not. No. Why would she be out there walking? Because she's holding hands with somebody. Yeah, she... Rhonda is complete within herself. She is. She doesn't need... She just, like, kind of makes him do things, but she doesn't need any, like, physical contact with him. You know the Gospel according to John? No. It starts out, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Well, I think that in this case, it's... In the beginning was Rhonda, and the Word... And, and, and Rhonda was with God, and Rhonda was God. You know, she really is. Does that make sense? It does. She's yeah. really superior. I really think she did start a lot. I mean, she's taught us everything we know, and and she might be our God, and that's why we love her so much. And But I guess I just believe. Is that enough? Well, some would say that it is, it is enough, the belief. Um, mm. I mean, that works for the Catholics. Uh, so, wow. Yeah, that was a, that was a bus. Why is there a bus? Why is there a bus? Yeah, who are these people? Are they, has this world just grown more? It's expanded out, I think it's out to about Newfoundland now. Um, you know, Canada, Eastern Canada. Wow, before it's just this like- It's out to city. Wyoming, down to Mississippi, and maybe up to about um, Hudson Bay. It's pretty big, but it's, it, you know, we haven't gotten to Africa or the rest of it or anything, or the moon. Oh, that'd be so cool. To go For the, the sun, moon. even though it's right there. Filming's cool, man. It is. Get out of there. 
real world, and it'll be better. I think it won't. You know, it might not be super, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be good. Moving forward. Because there's been a little too much excitement. Every day is so full of things to do in the Ronda universe. You know, yes. you gotta. If if you're not being a creative artist in the Ronda universe, you're putting the the universe together. You know, you're mm -hmm. participating in the society. You're going to the grocery store. And, you and need you, it. You don't know who is a created being within the Ronda universe, and you don't know who has been placed here, just like you and I have been placed here. Yes. I mean, like yeah. a phantasm, like the created beings are the phantasms. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to escape that and just do what you want to do, right? Right. I mean, you don't know, like, if you if you run over one of them with a car, are they just going to evaporate or are they going to actually die? You know, I mean, you don't know, and so you just you got to be careful. Yeah. Do I, the thing is, I don't know if I'm real or not. That's intense. Are you real? Some would say that we're, you know, we're just collections of atoms that are all just put together into grids. And mm -hmm. It's almost like if you're an android. I mean, do you like do you do you know that you're a person? What if you think you're a person? Just like that Robin Williams movie. Yeah, I mean, the way I figure yeah. it is, regardless of whether or not God exists or not, you have to deal with reality. It's true. So I don't, I don't care if God exists or not. It doesn't matter. Right. But, uh, but once I pass through the portal, I, I won't have to obey these conditions anymore. Because wow. I'll, and then I'll know that when I'm driving, that everybody out there is real, and I can't run over. Yeah. I'm definitely there, and then that's like a, an ethical vice that's now in my brain permanently. Yes, you know what's in front of you. I can't fantasize about doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know it's a no-no, and it's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not a video game. So the portal is the way to, to actual real-world ethics. Wow. I'm excited for you. I think, you, I think you'll get there, too. And, I hope uh, so. When you see it, go through. Ooh, okay. Go through. Let's go right through. Even if you don't know what's on the other side. It could be you have to start over. You might, you might have to ask somebody for money to have a sandwich. I but think, <laughs> I think I could do that. That would help But go me. through. That could help me with my confidence skills, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence and you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Do it. Just do it. I recognize it. Yeah. I don't know. That's, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just Come on, do it. Come yeah. on. Come on, Misty. Do it. I guess I could. Stop being so down on yourself, Misty. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. <laughs> just do it.
science how uh, that's just what their brain how it works they just they know that subject and kind of Are you growing a beard? Yes. Get rid of it. I don't like it. You're having a hard time finishing these movies. Well, I've got too many to work on. I've like got like five or six that I'm working on. I just, I just can't finish any of them. You're having a hard time multitasking. I, I've never had an easy time multitasking. It's not something that is in my nature. I just, I like to concentrate on one thing at a time. Maybe that's why you're stuck here. If you were to concentrate on one movie, what movie would you make? This one. 